Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting day. I am reviewing the new Beauty Bay palette and this is called New Romantic and this is part of their Valentine's collection. I mostly used the pinks today obviously and I'm also going to be reviewing the liquid eyeshadows as well. So if you would like to see inside this palette and know my thoughts on it then please keep watching. on filming today but then I got this in the post ah, I'm so excited so I've actually opened these up and took photos of them I've swatched these as well um haven't swatched these I don't plan on swatching them actually I'm just gonna do a wee tutorial with them so this is their new palette called new romantic I also got the little sheet here that gives me some info on it on the back it says you're about to fall in love with your latest makeup obsession whether you're spending Valentine's with your BFF significant other or yourself get in the mood for love with the new romantic collection this new romantic palette is the one for creating those dreamy soft looks with a mix of 20 deep red, berry and blossom shades in matte and shimmer finishes. The palette has everything you need to create the look you love, or the look of love. Sorry, I can't read. <laughs> Get your flirt on with the new Romantic Liquid Crystals. With the classic Liquid Crystals formula, the crystals are perfect for layering over shades from the new Romantic palette to create a spotlight looks that you can fall in love with. I don't know if their grammar's bad or if I just can't read. <laughs> so here are like the shades on the back of the little eyeshadow trios. So this palette is £15 and these are also £15 but if you buy them individually they're £6 each so you're better off just getting the three of them let's be honest. Very exciting. Let's get a move on and open them up. This is just so gorgeous. I love this. This is a kind of classic packaging that they always have on these palettes. I love it. Also just want to mention now like my skin might be a weird colour. It's because I've just tanned today. Not washed it off. It's not even really developed yet so I'm going to start doing my makeup and it's going to be one colour and then my skin will darken and it's just not going to be good. But anyway gorgeous. Okay I'm going to open it up for you. It comes with a little plastic covering. We'll launch that as well. Oh! I am obsessed. So I love pinks. I love a uh, warm, warm brown. So this is just gorgeous. It actually has a nice khaki colour in here as well, which is beautiful. I think that this colour here, Flamingo, would be so nice as a blush. It's probably a little bit lighter. Maybe mix that with smoothie. I might actually do that and maybe see. Um, I think the shimmers are all a little bit dark to use as a highlighter, so I probably won't be able to do that today. Look at this dry patch on my shoulder. It's disgusting. I want my lips this colour. That is Claret. They're all so stunning. I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, it's got a thing over the mirror. Oh god. Okay, that probably wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. Okay, I'm gonna open these up now. I'm gonna swatch them again actually. I swatched, swatched them earlier, but we can do it again. It's totally fine. Now, these look quite similar in shade, but they're not, and you'll see in a second. So, this is the darkest one here, and this is in... The writing is so small on the back, like, I can barely read it. Sardonyx. I'm just going to swatch it on the front of my hand, because I've got tan on the back. So, this is the darkest one. It is so gorgeous. Oh, doesn't smell of anything. Oh, it's so pretty. This would be so nice, like, on top of a shadow. Oh, this one. So this one is Carnelian. I'll just swatch this as well. It's so gorgeous. It's a nice rosy kind of colour. Oh, they're just so pretty. I love how the light hits off them. And the last one is Morganite. And this is the one that looks almost the same colour, but it's actually really quite a bit lighter. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I'm in love. I really want to use one of these today, but I'm not, not really sure how I'm going to use them. Don't even really know what look I'm going to do. We'll just, we're going to roll with it. It'll be fine. So there we go. So gorgeous. So I'm going to do a really cool love hearty kind of look today. So I'm just going to start off and I'm going to do my base off camera and then I will come back when we get started. I'm kind of nervous to do this look that I'm planning on. It's, I also need to mention now that it's inspired by Adele's makeup on Instagram. She did it first. Everyone is all recreating it this year, but she was the one to do it first. So just to let you guys know that. Okay. Oh, what am I even going to go in first with? I think I'm going to go in with Claret. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm actually really bad at reading, so I'm going to go with Claret. And I think we're going to go Milk Shade and Flamingo. So I'm going to use all three of those colours. Also, I've just applied the base to the upper part of my eye because we're going to be doing a cut crease. There's no point putting it all the way down to my lashes when I'm just going to remove it. 
I'm going to use this brush and this is PC33 and this is just a really small brush so the first heart we do it will be really little. I'm just going to bring it a bit closer. So I'm basically just patting this on into the shape of a love heart and this is going to be our first shade that we're doing. This is going to be the base shape for the rest of the look. Okay, so that first colour was great. It's really nice and dark. Didn't take a lot of effort to do. It did have a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of kickback on the pan, but like barely anything. This is probably a bit less than what you'd normally see on the pan, if that is important to anyone. But yeah, really easy to apply. Pretty pigmented. Very happy. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into Milkshake here. And this is a nice like, like a kind of corally sort of pink. It's like flamingo pink, I think. Even though this is flamingo up here, I'd say this is more flamingo. I'm not a zoologist, so I don't know. And I'm going in with another tiny brush, and this is a Peaches and Cream PC32 brush. Is that the same as this one? No, this is 33, this one's 32. I'm just going around that love heart with this shade, and just making sure that it's kind of blending into it. This is also going higher up towards the brow bone and out towards the shape of our cut crease. Okay, that's another great colour there. Super pigmented, super blendable. Seems really good. I also darkened up that uh, original love heart here. So we're now going into Flamingo. This is a super nice light pink one here. And I'm going in with a Peaches and Cream PC31 brush. So this is a wee bit more flat, but it's still really small and I need a small brush. So now I'm just going around that love heart again, bring it up closer to the brow and out a wee bit further on either side. So I'm thinking that Flamingo is probably not quite light enough, so I'm just going to switch to Birthday instead. So now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to go dark, lighter, lighter, dark, lighter, lighter, all the way along this way, and the same along that way. So we're going Clarette, Milkshake, and Birthday, and we're going to do that all the way out into our cut crease shape. I'm also just using the same three brushes, but I'm just going to speed this all up and put it all together. So that is me finished with the shadows and I must admit I am very happy with it so far. Well this is just the shadows for this part, I will be using more later. So now I'm just going to go and cut the crease with my Vaseline and then I will be right back for the next bit. Okay so I've now cut that crease just using Vaseline and I'm going to go in with this paint here. So this is a mix of the P. Louise Raver paint and the P. Louise um, Rewhite and this is just such a perfect colour. Like this is probably one of my favourite colours ever. And I'm just going to cut the crease with a M224 brush. This is by Morphe. I'm just following that cut crease line and then patting it all over my lid. I'm now going to do a little winged liner, but I'm going to do it with shadows, so it's nice and blown out. So I'm going to go into ink here, and this is the darkest one in the palette. And then I'm going to go back to Clarette, and then to Milkshake, and then I'm going to pat this down with Flamingo up here. So using this Morphe brush here, I'm just going to start off with ink and start building up this liner. So I'm going right above the lash line and just wing it out. I'm not worrying too much about the shape at the moment because all the shadows will pull it all together. Okay, so that black is incredible. Not being funny, but oh my God, that's so dark. That went on so easy as well. Like it proper clung to the product. I'm really happy with that black. Pretty good. I'm now gonna go into Claret here using the original brush and this is PC33 again. And I'm just applying this on top of the liner and making sure that it's nice and smoked out and blended together. I'm now going into Milkshake and I'm also not worrying about that corner then and that obviously it looks really quite rough now but I'm going to just totally clean that off after. So again I'm just going above that last shade that we did making sure it's nice and blended out. I'm now going to do this finish off bit of the cut crease and I'm going to use the shade Flamingo just to kind of cool down the really sort of bright pink. And I'm using a Peaches and Cream PC41 brush for this. Now we're just going back into my Vaseline to clean up this wing. I'm now just applying my base, P. Louise base, in shade 2. And I'm applying this underneath my eyes and going to make sure that wing's nice and clean. I'm also going to kind of blend in with this pink up here so it isn't as like harsh. I'm now going to do my under eye a little bit quicker. So I'm going to go into Clarette Milkshake 
and birthday again and I'm just gonna go right under the eye and then below and then below that and I'm just using the same brush as I did at the start. I'm just applying the P. Louise base into my waterline so we can apply some of Flamingo on top. Now I'm going to do this eye and my base off camera and then I'll be right back. Hello, I am back and I have my finished eyes on. And I'm going to go into Flamingo now and I'm going to use it as a blush. Let's see how this goes. I wonder how pigmented it's going to be. Oh, so pretty. This is my favourite kind of blush, nice peachy blush. This is just like one tap that I'm putting in. I love blushing the end of my nose. I'll just take my hair out just now. And on the inner corners of my eyes, I'm just going to use Morganite. And this is the lightest liquid shadow they have. And using a Morphe M213 brush, I'm just going to apply this to the inner corner. I'm not sure if this could be too dark. Let's hope not. Let's see how this looks. Wow, it's very bright. Blend that underneath my eyes and up above. Fabulous! So this is the finished look. So now for my final thoughts. The Beauty Bay New Romantic Palette. Can I get a drum roll? I like it! This palette is just totally my vibe. I said it at the start of the video, but I cannot wait to get into these warm tone browns. I love these pinks. I also think you can't get a light pink, or you can't, like these two pinks, I find aren't done very well and they normally go too bright, but these ones are quite nice colours. Obviously, they're some mental look, but I think that this will be easier to use on clients and some other pinks that I have. So I'm really happy about that. Unfortunately, I haven't managed to dip into the shimmers yet, purely because it wouldn't go with this look. I'm going to go into tint here though, just because this looks like a really interesting colour. That's really nice. It's kind of bluey. It's a nice blue, sort of lilac colour. It's really pretty. I'm just gonna wipe that in my jammies. So I'm super happy with this. It's really stunning. I also really love the um, liquid eyeshadows. I only have one on today. Um, a lot of them I find are quite dark, but it'd be really nice for like a smoky eye or anything like that. So yeah, I'm really happy with that and I'm super happy that I got it. So thanks a lot, Beauty Bay. I really appreciate that. So I'm just gonna finish up there. Just want to say a big thank you if you made it all the way to the end. I really appreciate that. I've also done another Valentine's look, so I'm going to leave the tutorial in the top right hand corner and I would love to know if you're going to purchase this palette if you like it if you don't like it please let me know in the comments I'd love to know what you think and please remember like always to like and subscribe down below I really appreciate it your support honestly does mean the world to me and I will see you in the next one bye 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 bye, bye.